Okay, I wanted to uh, demonstrate um, why I use uh, composites for some of my loudspeaker and bike projects. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, show the damping of three different materials. And uh, I'm going to show you aluminum, steel, and a composite. And uh, I don't have any uh, fancy measurement gear. But what I can show you is um, how how the uh, how the materials store energy. So I'm going to start out with uh, aluminum, and uh, what I'd like you to look for is how the material rings and uh, how it doesn't absorb energy. And uh, what this means is that when you when you uh, ride on a bike with a aluminum frame, uh, the energy goes right through the aluminum and is transmitted to the rider and that's why they're, uh, they're kind of crappy to ride. They're, they they kind of beat you up. So I'm uh, going to start out with an aluminum tube. So uh, let's do that again. And that was so loud it really made my ears hurt. I mean, this, this, this stuff is just not very well damped. <clears throat> All right. That's aluminum. Here is uh, steel of the same diameter. Let's try this. And uh, what you're going to look for is it's going to be not as loud, and it's not going to bounce as much. See how it, when I drop it, it... it now compare that to aluminum. <laughs> I can't even keep the aluminum in the frame. It just wants to bounce all over the place. All right, last but not least, the composite. So this is uh, this is part of the bike frame from my uh, from uh, my my Vendetta clone. It's uh, it's got an aluminum core. It's got wood. Uh, surrounding the aluminum core. You can see there it's aluminum. And then fiberglass on the outside. Uh, this is uh, constrained layer damping. So basically in constrained layer damping, uh, the core uh, absorbs energy. Uh, so the core can be anything pretty much, well, again, I'm not an expert on this. I'm a, I write software. I'm not a mechanical engineer. Uh, but the core between the two hard layers uh, absorbs the energy from the other two layers. Uh, this is the same kind of, well not the exact same composite, but similar to the composite that's used by uh, Airbus and the A380. But uh, check this out. <laughs> it doesn't even bounce. It's, it's like dropping a piece of lead. Crazy, huh? <laughs> and this is hard. This is solid, but it doesn't vibrate. Um, so uh, to be exactly like the A380, it would be aluminum. Excuse me, it would be aluminum, fiberglass, aluminum, uh, or fiberglass, alum aluminum, fiberglass. Uh, actually, the, the latter was more correct. It'd be fiberglass, aluminum, fiberglass. Uh, but in, in multiple layers, depending on where it is on the fuselage. Uh, the reason I'm using wood is it's basically easier to work with. But hope that was uh, educational. Uh, w one, last, one last demo with all three. So again, aluminum. Steel. Uh, composite. 